What is going on people, it's Josh here from Zedge Fitness and today I'm going to be speaking to you about deloads and explaining what a deload actually is, uh, why we use them and how we can structure them into our training. So essentially a deload is a recovery block or cycle of training where we're going to reduce both the volume and intensity. Now normally these are pre-planned into our program but they can be used on an as needed basis. The problem with having two regimented and structured deloads is for example, say if you plan to have a deload week every fifth week, you then reach that fifth week of training, uh, you still feel like you're progressing in the gym, you're managing recovery well and you're still feeling good, then taking a deload would be a waste of time. Uh, so I'd recommend holding off for a few extra weeks to maximize progress and gains. So why do we actually use a deload week? The first reason is to help prevent injury. So if you think about it, training multiple times a week um, with high impact, repetitive exercises, eventually it's going to take uh, a toll on our bones, joints and connective tissue. By taking a deload, we're just giving all these a bit of a break. Now as well as preventing injury, a deload can actually help uh, re-centricize our body to the stimulus of training. So by taking a week off with lower volume, lower intensity, when we go back into that next week of training, with the higher volumes and intensities, it's going to be sort of a shock factor and will help, helpfully, hopefully, help spur muscle gain. Now, as well as giving our connective tissue a break, it also gives our central nervous system a bit of time to recover. And if you're in a cutting phase, it can help uh, refill a bit of muscle glycogen. Now, an alternate to taking a deload week is actually a full training break. Now, essentially, this is just a week where you're not going to enter the gym at all or do any training, as well as giving a bigger break to connective tissue. Um, and our central nervous system, we actually will not lose any progress in the gym or lose any muscle mass. Now there's a study, uh, I'll put it on screen for you now, whereby there's a group of people who trained for 15 weeks continuously and there's another separate group of people follow the same training who trained for 15 weeks but had a three week break in between. Now the conclusion of that study was that there was no difference between progress or muscle gain. So by taking a week off, you're not actually going to inhibit any muscle gain. Um, it could actually end up spurring more muscle growth through allowing your body uh, time to recover. It'll be able to ca catch up from the previous training block. This is also known as the super compensation effect. So now you know what a deload is and you know why we use them, how can we structure them into our training program? So what we do when we're taking a deload week, first of all, we're going to be cutting the volume uh, in half. So for every number of sets of each exercise, we're going to be cutting that number in half. We're also then going to be dropping the weight by 25 to 50 percent. So I'll give you a little example. Say Monday, chest Monday, we're doing bench press. We normally do four sets on 100 kilograms for eight reps. During our deload week, we'll cut the sets in half. So we'll do two sets um, and we'll drop the weight by, let's say, 25 percent. So we're going to be doing two sets of 75 kilograms for eight repetitions. Now if you don't document your training, so you're not log booking, you're not counting your sets, reps and weight, and you're just training initiatively, then a good idea is to cut every set for each exercise in half, and then also just back off a few extra reps from failure from what you normally do. Now an advanced athlete is going to need to take a deload a lot more frequently than a beginner or intermediate. Reason being that they need more intensity and volume in order to progress in the gym. Now if you're a beginner or intermediate, you can take a deload uh, every sort of two to three months if needed. Although deloads do play a huge role in managing fatigue, when we're speaking about recovery, there's also a number of other different factors that come into play, um, like our lifestyle, our diet we need to make sure is on point, and also our sleep. If we're looking after all of these, then we're well on our way to minimizing the risk of overtraining and we can carry on getting some solid results. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found it informative. If you've got any questions about deloads or any other questions for that matter, I'll leave my links to my social media and my email down in the description box below. Uh, if you've got any recommendations or questions that we, you want me to base a video around, then please just comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Take it easy. I'll catch you in the next one.